Pod. It's a Slide Podcast, most authentic, most organic podcast out here. We're out here in the city of San Diego. We're at the hotel that we're staying at today. If you're following us on Instagram, you'll find out which one exactly. We're about to get into a deep question game, which we love and we've been doing it. If you follow us on TikTok and Instagram, we've been posting about this game for a long time. Today, I have the lovely Jack Jack. I have the amazing Pepe. And for the first time in a, in a month or two, uh, we have the amazing Genesis back on the team. We have her back on the video. We have her back on the podcast. But we're going to get into a deep question, which honestly, we're having the team choose questions for each other, see which we want to answer. And let's see how it goes. So make sure you like, subscribe, share, and let's see it. So we're ready. All right, which is the first one? We're not looking. Woo. All right. What is, what's one experience that changed your life? Oh, damn. This was a random question. All right. One experience that changed my life. Uh, it had to be having my kids, having my son, my firstborn. You know, when they say, oh, have kids, it's always the right time. You'll be ready. You're never ready. It, it comes at the most unexpected time. You feel like you're running out of time because you're trying to have a safe space for them. You're trying to have their, their crib. You're trying to have X amount of things ready. And you're never at the right time. But it changed my life because I wanted to be better. I didn't want to be the same dude I was once before him. I wanted to make sure as time went that I make sure I heal my traumas so he doesn't got to go through the same trauma that I had to go through. I want to make sure I fix my mistakes and I speed that I speed that process up so he doesn't have to go and learn from that because it's not easy. And it changed my life because if you suffer from mental health, anxiety, depression, you know, may, maybe sometimes we feel like our life isn't worth it. But when we have our kids, a son or daughter, we stop living for us and we start living for them. So. It changed my life because I stopped living for me and I started living for him. And then, gracias a Dios, my daughter came into life and I started living for them, both of them. What can I do for them so they can be okay? How can I heal my trauma so they don't got to go through it? And how can I heal my traumas faster so they don't have to live through it? So parenting, it changes your life. And if, you're, if it changes you for the better, it changes you for the better. So that's definitely number one. Damn, we started off right. Okay, question number one. Let's see, let's see what we got today. What is your definition of love? Uh, for me, definition of love is, it sounds cheesy, but it's unconditional. It's accepting somebody for who they are, no matter what their background is, no matter what they've gone through, no matter what might come. It's loving that person unconditionally that no matter what they did, there wouldn't be any way that you could see them in a bad way. Um, and that is true, unconditional love for me. I think it can go to a partner, to your family, to your friends. It doesn't necessarily have to be a like a romantic kind of love, but accepting somebody for who they are 100% genuinely is my definition of love. And it's something that never fades away either. No matter how bad they did you wrong, no matter how bad things get, you'll always have some toward of love and affection towards them, no matter what. Hey guys, I'm back. I know you guys miss me, but your girl was in school getting her education. Um, if you guys don't know, I finally got my associate's degree in science as an esthetician. So that's what I was been focusing on. But, you know, I'm back now. Thank you. Read it out. <laughs> Do you believe in God? If so, what is one question you would ask him? I don't think I would ask him a question. I would just thank him for everything that he's been doing in my life lately. I feel like the last couple months have really been a roller coaster. If you guys follow me on social media, you guys know, like, 
I've been going through school. I lost my dog in the process. I've had so many other things come in and out of my life during these past six months. But one thing I did not stop focusing was on God and his purpose for me. And I just knew even though through the midst of all the craziness and the chaos, and even as much as like I was upset because humanly we have these emotions, I was upset with God because I was like, why would you take all these things away from me? When it would happen, the first thing I would say is, God, I know you have a purpose and what's for me is going to come for me and you're going to make it known. So I would just thank him for the experience because it's making me who I am right now. So that's what I would tell God. Just thank him for everything. So, yeah. Next question. Yeah. <laughs> Ready, Pop? No. There you go. Damn, this one. I had a feeling. What's going on, guys? This is question number one. And it says, what is one thing you would say to a person who broke your heart? Damn. I don't think it's more of a say. I think it's more of a, I want to know why things didn't work out necessarily. Um, I've mentioned and I've touched on the, on, like very vaguely on the story about what happened, but things didn't end well. So I think when relationships end without closure, it kind of messes the other person up and it makes them wonder why things didn't really work out. It's like, was I not good enough? Was there something that I could have done to maybe fix it? Uh, what exactly was it? I think that's pretty much it. it. It's more of a, what, why was I not good enough or why did it not work out? But that's it. I think that's what I want. Woo! Intimacy. What are your love languages? Ooh. Quality time. That has to be my number one. Quality time. Number two. <sighs> words of affirmation. You know, if you're like me, we go through a lot of not feeling not worthy, feeling not okay, feeling not doing enough. So where's that affirmation lands at number two? Number three, touch. Simplicity is holding your hand, having a hug. A hug can tell you exactly people's intentions. And honestly, even if you're laying down on their thighs and you have a little, what's the little, the little head scratches, the piojitos, if you're having little piojitos, Definitely. And I want to say number four, five, giving gifts. I'm not a big uh, receiving gifts. You can leave that for another day to an somebody else or later on. But simply showing up with food is my love, la love language. But quality time, uh, words of affirmation, touch, and then gift giving. The fifth one, I don't know exactly, but... It, it, it lands there. And I think that's kind of my love language. But if we understand each other, we're, we're talking the same language. That's pretty much that's pretty much it. So let's go. Thank you. All right. Question, question. Question number two. Question number two. What's the one question you've always wanted an answer to? That's really good because it's something I've been thinking about a lot recently. Um, the question that I would want an answer to is if what I'm doing is what I'm supposed to be doing and if I'm doing it right. Like if it's all my hard work, you know, paying off for something. I feel like a lot of times in life, like you can have moments where you don't know what you're doing. You're kind of like frazzled. You're like unsure of what your path may be. but. Um, that's the answer I would want, is to know if what I'm doing is is actually what I'm supposed to be doing and if I'm on the right path. But, I mean, I guess it kind of keeps it exciting, life exciting, when you're just kind of like in the know. But I would say that. Yeah, that's my answer. Have you ever been suicidal? I have been. When I was younger, I was definitely suicidal. But I believe it wasn't much like suicidal. It was more of a cry for help. 
And at the time, I didn't realize it. I kind of just thought, maybe let me just take myself out of the equation. But little do I know, it was literally just a cry for help. And the one thing that I had to do was ask for that help and know that as rough it is to ask for help, because it is a little bit embarrassing. You're just kind of like, oh, no one's going to understand. The people around you that love you will fully understand. Even if they don't, they're going to be there with you every step of the way, even if it's just to sit there in silence. So yes, if you're suicidal, please ask for help. Ask around you, you know, it's not, everybody goes through something, so, yeah. Question number two. When was the last time you cried and what was the reason? This was a good question, but I haven't cried in a minute. I don't think I can recall the last time that I cried. Um, what was it? I think looking back, it was maybe a couple months back. It was just, I was lost. I feel lost. I still feel lost. And we were talking about it on our way here. Um, I don't know what my purpose in life is. So I was just hanging out with my niece and she said something just, oh, Damn, the lights came on. My niece, my niece was just sad and I asked her, hey, what's wrong? And she's like, nothing, I just miss you. And I think for the first time it was more of a, damn, thank you? Like, thank you? Like, it's one of those things where it's like when you don't know what your purpose in life is or when you're feeling stuck or just lost and confused, uh, little messages from like the randomest people get to you and so that's the one that got to me my niece just said i miss you can we spend time together and i didn't cry then and there like my eyes got watery and stuff but i cried after like i spent the afternoon with her we went and got something simple it was just boba and dropped her off at home and then i went about my business and i just caught myself crying and it was just because it was one of those things where I, you don't realize the difference you make in a child's life or in anybody's life until they remind you of that. So that was the last time I cried. Pásale, right, pásale. Right, right, you guys. What's up, you guys? Saludos, saludos. Saludos, ¿cómo estás hoy? Muy bien, muy good, bien. Good, good. We're about to get, we're about to put you in the hot seat. No, both of us, both of us. Make a little spicy. All right, mira. All right. No voy a ver. Yo, para mí. Sí. I'm feeling lucky. Oh, wait, I got two. Oh. Okay. Ooh. All right. We ready? Intimacy. Do you believe in true love? <sighs> do you? Do you believe in true love? I do. I believe there's, there's a person out there for you. I mean, we talked about there is three loves in your life. The one that is your new love, where you're figuring out that that person is your person. Your first love. Yeah, your first love. Your first love. Your second love is the one that breaks your heart completely. And then your third one is the one that's meant for you. I don't know where I'm at, but. They say it's your first love, your true love, and the love of your life. Ooh. That's the three Ooh. loves that you have in this Ooh. life. This is what me han dicho. And, um, but I, I feel like there is true love. I feel I, like true love is it's something not that's perfect that it comes out of the blue and oh no. yeah this is it. It's I something think, you work at. I think I think people get it really confused because they think of true love as perfection yeah. and true love is never perfect. It will never mm. be perfect. But it's that love that no matter what that person does, no matter quite frankly whatever they put you through, yeah. it's un amor that you can like not put any stops to yeah. like it and I do think true love exists true I do true. think true love exists um and I don't think it happens with everybody yeah. but there's like those few people in that in your in your life that you're like you know what I'm in this I'm in it with this person ride or die yeah like, I feel I feel like you just, you have to be willing to work on it with that person because yeah. que va a haber problemas, va a haber. Oh, there's gonna way. be hiccups there's gonna be hiccups but it's that one person you find where one, you find peace, two, you 
can't wait to see or be around or even speak to. And then three, where you're like, bro, I see my whole life with you. No matter what happens, no matter what storm comes our way, I wanted to go through it because quiero estar contigo. I want to be with you. Yeah. It's like, como dice Joan Sebastián, cruzar los montes, los ríos, los valles. Para irte a encontrar. encontrar. Ay, eso no, porque, <laughs> porque lloro, porque lloro. But, no, but, yeah. but what about nowadays? Because I feel like nowadays a lot of people think true love doesn't exist. Mm. Do you think there's a problem? with our generation and our society that people are too easy to give up it's it's it takes work you know something uh, as someone said before something that's great takes time and work if you're not willing to put in the time you put in the work put in the energy put in the effort it's not gonna work i'm sorry love is great but love is not perfect love is there come it comes in waves it comes in in good moments and bad moments, but you have to be able to go through the bad moments to know what the good moments are. And if I if I truly love you, I'm willing to go through the storm. I'm willing to fight whatever war is coming. I'm willing to stand up to anybody who's willing to try to intervene with us because I just want to be with you and make you happy. No matter what happens, no matter who comes, I love you and only you. So then let me ask you this. Oh, okay. Do you think it takes a long time for you as a man to know if it's true love or mm. not? No, that, that's a question we had on the Not Gonna Lie. And shout out to everybody that that uh, came on there. But when do you know when a man knows if that's that's when, his person? Mm-hmm. Man, we know within a day. Within really? A week. Really? I, Bebe's not going to let me lie behind camera. If, no, I mean. Like, I for as, as a man, a guy knows that's his person a lot sooner than a girl. Like, if they hang out with them and they hit it off and they, and they talk to them, However, they make them feel that first date or together with the and that time frame of talking, all we know that's it. I feel like men are sometimes so quick to dive in and just you know give them. themselves fully and completely if it's the right person. Oh, that was And then if it's not the right person, well then it's you know a yes. game, shits and giggles, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, no, but no. if it's true love and a man is really in love, I do think that you guys Damo, go in all the way. Damos todo. Lo que venga, lo que caiga, I'm with you. But if you break my heart, mm, I'm very revengeful. That's true. That's that's true. But I do think true love exists nowadays. I mm. think I think it is something that exists. Um, I just think that respectfully, like with the internet, with social media, people think that they have so many options. Yeah. And then it's like, well, what if I can get this better? What yeah. if I can find something better? That's, and a lot of, I think a lot about love is like choosing to commit to a person because you're always going to have better options. I feel like you're all, there's always going to be better, but you have to make a decision to say, this is my person. This is who I want to write it out with. This is the battles I choose to battle. Yeah. You're, but like it's, it's a, it's a decision. It's not like, it's not always butterflies and unicorns. All right. So let me ask you the question. All right. If an ex contacted you right now, how would you respond? Say this is the ex that. <laughs> what ex is this? All right, so they say this is the ex que te enamoró, que te ilusionó, que tú querías todo el mundo, querías todos los becerros, el rancho, todo, y te quedó el puto corazón. ¿Qué le dices a este compa? I'd be like, look at me now. Ah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no, no. Honestly, what would I say? Um, if we were having like a serious conversation, I would probably say there's no hard feelings. Honestly, there's no hard feelings. I'm very thankful now that for everything that happened, um, because it made me a much stronger person mm. now than what I was before. If you would have asked me way back when, I would have been like, oh my God, my world's ending, blah, blah, blah. But now I can confidently say there's no hard feelings. There's no bad blood. Uh, um, you know, respectfully, I don't want that person. In, like, I don't need that person in my life anymore. Whatever role you played, you played it, it's done and it's going to stay there. Yeah. But moving forward, like, I have no really hate towards them because, because of that. Now I know what I want. Now I know what I don't want. Now I know how to go through things and how to level up. But no, yeah. there's absolutely no bad blood. What about you? What well, would you say to an ex? And let's say it's the one that put you through the trenches. Oh. The one that like made your life <laughs> respectfully a living hell. Like 
la tóxica. Uh, my real answer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're keeping it 100 mm. today. I think if it, oh man. Why did we go through what we needed to go through? Why did that happen? And how do we feel? Was I that bad? What I, were you not just feeling me? If you put me through the trenches, respectfully, estaba bien, but just away from me. Respectfully, como he said jokingly before, respectfully, look at me now. <laughs> like, yeah, I love you, and I thought we were going to be everything, but respectfully, hey, I hope it goes good for you, but I'm doing good without you. Respectfully. Respectfully. Respectfully over everything. I Mira, como dijo Walter Caetan, puro paz, mi amor, que se vaya bien. Yeah, I think a lot of times, <laughs> like, people leave grudges with their exes and they want to like feel something oh there still is there still ah. is nah there's, there's no there's no no black blood no 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 look no. if you broke my heart I'm gonna tell you this que te vaya bien don't talk to me my my phone line is wide open you can call me I may answer <laughs> may not answer but this is not happening Be no, just for that yeah. just for that same reason like don't get me wrong like I once loved you I once wanted to be with you but for some reason or another, you didn't take me as serious. I don't know what to tell you. So it's one of those things where I wish you the best and I hope you do good and I hope you find love and someone treats you correctly. Pero que te vaya bien. Que te vaya bien, pero lejos de mí. Como, de, como dice uh, Edwin Cas, el grupo firme. Como dice, oh. porque there's a lot of punchlines of his that I could say. En tu One of my perra favorite. vida, hijo. <laughs> <laughs> o sea, ya superame. Ya superame. Because why is your ex coming back? What do they want? Yo ya te olvidé. Pero sí te recuerdo. De vez en cuando, de vez en cuando. Check, check. That was great. That was, that was really good. I liked your answers. Thank you so good much. Shit. I feel like there was a lot in there. there, was a, there, <laughs> there we're going to do some healing off on camera, but we're going to let the other two come in. That's right. And answer their own healing on this one. Good so, stuff. Vámonos. Bye. Damn. 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 Okay. We're ready? back. We're back. I'm nervous. Oh, awkward. Hi. How are you doing today? My name is Dennis. Hey, Genesis. welcome. Welcome to another episode. Uh, this is our guest, uh, Genesis. Um, guest some of you may know her. Some of you may. Some of you may know her. Um, Jen. Yes. All awkward. I know. Jen. Oh, like I'm about to get interviewed. Right Jen. Now? How does it feel to be back? It feels great. Honestly, I mean, I miss you guys so much. Obviously, like, I've been very busy with school and everything, but I miss you guys. I miss the chaos of everything. The chaos. So we're chaotic <laughs> chaos. now. chaos, yes. No, but honestly, I really did miss you guys. I mean, it's it was a, a tough time, you know, but we were all really busy, you know. Of course. It was always so much love, so... And of course, we miss you too, you know <laughs> like, that. We miss you too. But... Nah, we miss you too. We had a little disagreement, but hey, I'm glad you're back. I really am. <laughs> Miss you. We're a dysfunctional family. We always well, make it work no matter it, what. Like, well, we always make it work. We it. There's always love. There's always love, no matter yes, what. Of so, sibling love. <laughs> sibling love. Hey, we're For family. Real. So, like they did. You ready to get real? I'm real, ready to real. get real. Real, real. Real, real? real the real, real world. Nah, that's a different show, but hey. <laughs> Let's get real. This is Love Island. No, it's kidding. Okay. Love Island. Never seen it. Let's go. Ready? Okay. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. If this was your last moment, what would you say? If this was my last moment, I answered something similar a couple a couple weeks back. Um, it depends on who I was with. It depends on who I'm spending my last moments with. Um, if it was with y'all, like my friends, I would say thank you guys for saving me at a time that I needed saving. Thank you guys for accepting me and allowing me to be a part of the group with open arms. Um, if it was my family, though, I think I would apologize to them for not, not making them proud, if that makes sense. 
Like do I, you really feel like you haven't made them proud? I think I've always wanted to, I've always provided for them in a sense, and I've always helped. But I think I'd apologize for not setting them up for the future. If like once I'm gone, if this was my last moment, I'll say, I'm sorry. I don't know how you guys are going to figure out life, but I wish y'all the best. And I think that's what I would say. What about you? Honestly, I think if it was my last moments, I've thought about this before because I don't know why I'm like very, I overthink a lot. So I was like, oh my God, what would I ever say if it was like today was my last moment? Of course. I think my first priority would just be my family. Honestly, just, it would just be more telling them how I love them so much. Honestly, like I think that's just my main goal to try to reach my family and just let them know that I love them. And uh, like not to worry, not to be saddened by it. I've always thought about it. Like if I was gone today, I want my family to take whatever money I have in my bank yeah. and go on trips, go see the world. Like I think that's one thing I would tell my family is like, don't stop living. Like go enjoy yourself because my family has always been the type to like work, work, work. Like let's go do like, yeah, of course. they've always been strict on work and I'm the one that's like, go live life. So that's yeah. what I would tell them. Like, I love you so much. And life is short because honestly, we can be gone tomorrow. Honestly. So it's like, I love you so much, but now go live your life and take whatever I have and like, and just enjoy, like go across the country, like go visit what God has made this earth. What about you? Have you followed your own advice? That I'm, wish I'm that you have to, for your family? I've, I definitely started to try to live more in the moment and honestly, just, you know, like I said, this world is so like quick. So, yeah. is there a specific I, situation that made you realize, damn, our sh our time in this earth is really short? Um, I wouldn't say one specific moment. Okay. But definitely, just like a bunch of things that happen, like back to back to back, where it's kind of like it did make me realize, like, oh man, like when I am getting older, I see my my parents getting older. Of so. course. It does make you think like, oh, we only we only have them for a little bit more time, you know? So it's like you gotta start investing your time in them and like just spending time with them. So. Is there something you wanna do with them before you leave this earth? Like, I want to do this before I'm gone tomorrow or whenever um, it is. Honestly, just like I said, just honestly my biggest thing is seeing the world. Okay. Just seeing the world. I would love to like travel with my family. Like even when I go to like little places out of state like i i have like that first generation guilt yeah whereas like i'm facetiming my mom i'm like i'm that person i was like mom look at this like look I at know. the golden gate bridge look at the bean you know so and you always take them a little souvenir it's yes. like yes it's like i want them I'll, to see the world of course with me yeah yeah that's something i would definitely Damn, those Spent are, my last moments doing. Those were pretty good for his question. I know, that was intense. Damn, that was intense. <laughs> that was deep. I did not expect it intense. to get this deep this I know, quick. off the first one. Right off the bat, first time back, I know. it's already getting emotional. It's like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. made me cry already? I left <laughs> crying and come back crying. <laughs> wow, you did not cry. You Let's, let's <laughs> keep it real. I cried. Remember? It was that last episode. Well, last Sanya, episode. I cried. When me and him went at it. Oh, we cried. We, we I cried. think we all got a little emotional that last episode. The last good episode. <laughs> <laughs> the last good episode good before long. Shay <laughs> hit the fan. I don't know. I mean, people I'm say, kidding. people always be like, I'm yo, where's kidding. Jen? Where's Pepe? So maybe we made it good. We made it interesting. It's the eyes. It's the eyes. eyes. It's the colored it's eyes. Let's go with that. It's a way to People be. love us. Okay. Now, next, next question. Next question. Now it's my turn now. Yeah, you got to be do Which we want to do a, right. do we want to do a mind fuck or, or do we want to do an intimacy? Let's do intimacy. You want to do intimacy? Let's get intimate. Damn. <laughs> okay. How can you tell when you've fallen out of love? You're mentally checked out. You're not even there anymore. I I mean, that recently happened to me, you know, where this person I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with um went to Chicago. <laughs> And that's when I realized I was mentally checked out. Like, yeah, you're like, they're not, they're not I it. I just looked at this person and no thought came in my mind. Um, at that point, I was like, i rather have came on this trip by myself to enjoy my own time. 
<laughs> Damn, that is Honestly, crazy. Honestly, though, where it's like when you when you feel like you'd rather just be alone at that point, and that's how you know you you fall out of love. Like, yeah, of course. Nothing there anymore. So why continue it? Why waste your time and their time? Exactly. Simple as that. Exactly. It's like, damn, let me find my happiness somewhere else. What would be your last, like, I'm done, I'm falling out of love? When I stop caring about anything and everything that you do. Simple as that. As as messed up as it sounds. You're like, I don't even care if you ate today. This star was <laughs> I think I think there's like I don't even care if you ate. Like I mean pretty much like hey, your existence your existence do doesn't yeah, do anything for like, me. Like it's great. I I mean to see you're doing well, but I mean, congrats. Yeah. I think I think that's my last draw. It's like I think I love you, love you, love you until I just stop until I just stop caring, honestly. I feel like I'm the same way. I'll love someone until I'm mentally just like I said, just check like out. Like you said, like, I will try and try and try until one day I just can look at this person and there's no thought, there's no feeling in my heart. It's just like, but it, honestly, I would say it will take a lot because I do love wholeheartedly. Yeah, when of I course. love someone, I like invest everything. So it's like you would have to really do something to make me check out. Like you would really have to do me like. Never mind, I was see something happen. <laughs> You would have to do something really bad. Yeah. Of course. Yes. <laughs> there it is. That was a that, that was a pretty good that was a pretty good two questions for it being your uh, first time it's back in a back. couple months. I'm glad everybody stuck around for this episode. Again, a little bit different outside of the studio. And man. It how does it, it feel? It feels good to be at a studio somewhere else, somewhere if, different. You, you know, I feel like when you, when you travel, when you get out out of your regular routine, you're going to feel good. You know, Always. life hit life hits you. You know, oh, life hits. Hit, life hits you and it, and it's hard. Of course. You know, the reality sometimes hits harder where you feel like you're working so hard and you don't feel like you're making any progress or you feel like you're not taking steps forward and you don't know yeah. if it, life is going to give you that that piece of grace where you're like, dude, I did it. And sometimes it, it is hard. It is hard to get up the next morning. It is hard to get up every day and feel like, oh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm motivated. I got this going. It's like sometimes you just got to fake it. And sometimes you got to fake it. But faking it gets tiring, though, you know? So faking, faking gets tiring. Like, I want to show you a smile. And I want to know what's coming with everything I got. Like, it's actually meaning I'm happy. I'm content. Like, I'm good. But sometimes when I'm smiling. Dude, we're struggling sometimes. Yeah. I feel like sometimes we're. Smiling on the outside, but crying on the inside. And, and and it's hard, you know? So for those that, you know, are fighting every day or fighting to get up or fighting to make a, the next day better or to even make everybody else around them even just happy. Yeah. Hey, it's going to be okay. It's going to work out. It's, it's going to get better. But if you give up, you won't know what that feels like. You won't know what that looks like. So yeah. if, if I know, brother, you, you're struggling and I give up, I don't know if tomorrow you're gonna be good. That means I may leave you alone, and that means that means maybe you're in a worse situation. Yeah. So it's like, hey, if you got someone you love, because I love you, and if you got people you love, your parents, your sister, your siblings, your kids, your cousins, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, bro, keep on going. You gotta keep on going. You gotta for keep them. on going. If it's not you, then it's for them. Yeah. And you gotta you gotta find that 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 motivation, that reason. To like, like I get it. Today we may not want to get up. Today we may not want to live anymore. And you still gotta get up. You still gotta get up. Still gotta get up. People, There's still people that are depending on you every single day. And they do. And yeah. you gotta show up, show out, make it the best. And what more can you do? What more can you do? Yeah, man. So, but we're in San Diego once again. We haven't been to San Diego in a while. In a couple months. It's been a couple months, but, but San Diego's home. San Diego is one of those places where it's like you come back yeah. and you just reset. Like San Diego is that, that yeah. city where it's like you just come and you feel you feel revived again. Like yeah. you, you get a sense of like, I don't know, yeah. just happiness again. It, it, we come to get away to show ourselves a little piece of grace. Like, hey, enjoy. You know, you're working hard. Enjoy yourself. You know, enjoy life. But for those that are in the group chat, right now we're recording and we're live on TikTok. So everybody on TikTok, love you guys, man. I don't know how you guys are doing it. 
Friday night. You guys are with y'all us should be, here. Y'all should be out. Y'all should be out. Fun, but drinking, but thank you. Y'all, y'all here with ones. us. So my thing is, if you're feeling, if you're not feeling motivated, find the motivation. Find a person. Find a position. Find a, person. Find a goal. It's hard to find motivation when it comes within yourself because for me, I'm done. I don't want to do this. Honestly, I don't do things. I don't. I'm not doing things for me at this point. I'm, I'm just doing it for my family, my yeah. friends. I can't let other people down. Yeah, I'm that's the part. I I'm, I'm finding people, my parents, my kids, my yeah. significant other. Because of them, I'm here. Feels that to me, I'm not. So my thing is, if you're struggling, if you're not finding the motivation, you don't feel the love. You don't feel a reason why to be here. Someone else counts on you and they need you. So if you haven't heard it before, man, you're loved. You are needed. There's no one like you in this world. I am so proud of you. Keep on going. I know right now it's a little tough. It's a little hard, but keep going. Life is going to get better. The moment is going to pass. The storm is going to pass. And you won't know how good it's going to be until you get through it. So I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you too. Remember, it's a bad day, not a bad life. It's a bad day, not a bad life. It's a bad day, not a, just a bad moment, not and a bad it life. It'll, it'll pass. So, man, great episode. Good episode. 167, right? Is it? 167. 167. <laughs> 167. Yeah. We can't even count. Yeah, 167. 167. We ended in there here with the boys, but we got we got to enjoy the company of Jack Jack. Genesis. And Genesis. Genesis yeah. is back. Sega I'm glad Genesis. She came back. Back in Sega I'm Genesis. Glad, I'm glad. I'm glad. We're proud of her for finishing school. Uh, yeah. And I'm honestly happy she's back. Yeah. I mean, can't. Can. Hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Went there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you jump on your Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, right there. <laughs> Sit right there. <laughs> Ahí, right there. <laughs> no más para el final del video. Por aquí estamos. Mira, aquí estamos. Mira. Aquí, uh, ¿cómo, ¿qué le dices a la gente que no disfruta la vida y que no le está gustando? ¿Qué le dices? Ay, a la gente que no le gusta la vida y que no están disfrutando es porque simplemente no han encontrado algo que les gusta hacer, porque esta vida es muy bonita, es muy bonita y hay que vivirla, y hay algo para todos, so if you haven't found something that you enjoy, it maybe means step out of your comfort zone and try something new, because I guarantee you, there's something out there that you will like, it's a beautiful life. Wow, wow, como dijo el perro, wow, es que la vida, wow, como dijo el perro, wow, la vida es bonita, hay que gozarla, hay que gozarla, si tienes... Si tienes miedo de vivir, que no nazcas. El que, ¿cómo va? Eh, dicen, si el que no se anime, que no se rime. But yeah. it's just, it's just, if you're, you gotta, you gotta step out of your comfort zone every once in a while. You haven't heard it? Si tienes miedo de vivir, que no nazcas. No, no. that's the first time I, that's the first time. That's even better. Really? Yeah. All right, this is a last great question for last Jen. Last great question. Last great okay. question. Jen, just. Just make sure, just, I know it speaks from your heart, your corazón, it never fails. But if there are people struggling with their faith right now, what can you tell them? Struggling with their faith. Honestly, I struggled with my faith in this mm. season. And I've actually had, I had to call a couple friends one day because I started spiraling a little bit. Um, it's okay to question God. It's okay to be mad, at, not I'm say be mad at him. We're, we're human. We have human emotions, but he gives us those emotions. He understands our emotions. He wouldn't have given us these emotions if, if he couldn't handle it. Yeah. You get me? Like, he knows we're going to ask why. Yeah. He knows that we're going to be upset with him. But the thing is, he's giving you that so you can turn around and ask him. He wants you to ask him why, you know, why are these things happening? And he's going to give your answer. It might be not be the one you like, but he's going to give you an answer for sure. Expect so, a call because true. I'm yeah. questioning my faith <laughs> oh, right yes. now. So and honestly, I'm it's you. such a advice. human experience. Like he gave us these feelings for a reason, you know. Um, now you got to ask him, why are you feeling that way? Why, why, what's the reason, what's the purpose he's putting you through that? I don't know. Well, what's on the what other need, side, what what's on the out. other side of that, of that's that question? That's what I need to find out because I was having a conversation with him last night, actually. 
dude, I'm going to just go to Mexico, go away for a month or two. Because honestly, I don't know what my purpose in life is right now. Yeah. So, and that's okay. Yeah. yeah. And you need to ask him. You have so, to show him, but you also yeah. have to do the work for it. Of course. I, I was going to say, like, you have to be ready to ask him because when you ask God, show me something. Oh, he'll show, show you. you. <laughs> or when you say, show remove you. somebody from my life. No, oh. Next oh, he's quick <laughs> to do it. And then you're like, oh, dang. Like, I wasn't like, ready I for that. I wasn't ready that fast, but it's be careful what you wish for. For yes. sure. Of course. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Damn. Man, <laughs> episode 167. Episode in the books. Another episode in the books. In the city of San Diego. Who knows what city next we may be in? Maybe back in San Diego because we love this city. Maybe, maybe Fontana, maybe LA. <laughs> Who knows? You know what? I have a lot of love for the Bay. And if you know, you know. Maybe we need hey, to do a little Bay. Da- I think David it. asked back when are you the all coming to the Bay. Maybe back yes. in the Bay. David asked when are you all coming to the Bay. Honestly, we don't know. We don't well, know when we're going to the Bay. That day may but, come a lot sooner than later. But it could be, I don't know, as soon as... Let's go tomorrow. Couple <laughs> <laughs> Flying out tomorrow. But episode 167 with the girls, with the boy. And the other boy. And the other boy. ¿Qué más queremos si tenemos toda la vida? It's just a live podcast. <laughs> Most authentic, was organic podcast out here, baby. Let's go. 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 Let's go.